Welcome to our review on gamma radiation and medicine. First thing then, we need to understand what a radioisotope actually is. So whenever we're talking about a radioisotope, we're talking about a radioactive version of a normally stable element. Now in order to produce this radioisotope, we're going to place a material inside a nuclear reactor. When that material is inside the nuclear reactor, it's going to absorb neutrons and as a result become unstable. As it then decays, we'll emit those gamma rays which we can then use. We need to be aware of a few of the properties of our gamma rays. So first thing is they're very high frequency and have short wavelengths. They are examples of electromagnetic waves. They've got a lot of energy and they're a type of ionizing radiation. The last point that we need to remember is that they can damage or even kill cells. In terms of the uses of our gamma radiation, we can use it first of all to sterilize equipment because what happens there is the gamma rays will kill microorganisms present on the equipment. And secondly, we can use it in a machine called a gamma knife. Now, what the gamma knife actually does is it uses gamma rays in order to kill cancerous cells. So it's basically a form of cancer treatment. There are some risks associated with using this gamma radiation, however. As we've said, they can damage or kill cells, which means that it can cause cancer or even death if a high enough dose is involved. Another use of our gamma radiation is as a medical tracer. And again, this allows us to diagnose problems or the location of a problem without the need for an operation. And if we don't need an operation, then there's no risk of infection. Now, what actually happens here is we'll give the person a tracer to either eat or it'll be injected into them, depending on which organ system we're looking at. And then we use a detector passed over the surface of the body to identify where the gamma radiation changes and therefore the location of the problem. Finally, we need to consider why we use gamma rays for tracers. And the key thing is to do with the amount of penetration. So gamma rays, remember, are penetrating enough to be able to cross from inside the body to the detector. However, if we were to use something like an alpha particle, it's not penetrating enough to leave the body. So there's no point in using alpha as a tracer because it will never leave the body and therefore would never be picked up by our actual detector. The other thing we need to consider is the fact that whatever source we are using must have a short half-life. We don't want this radiation to persist inside the body for a long period of time. We want it to have a nice short half-life to reduce the risk to the patients and their families.